This video explains the construction procedure of an ellipse by eccentricity method. While drawing an ellipse by eccentricity method, two parameters are required. One is distance between focus and directrix and the other one is ratio of eccentricity. We will discuss in detail about the construction of ellipse when the distance between focus to directrix is 50 mm and eccentricity is 2 by 3. First, draw a vertical line. It is a fixed line and is called directrix. Mark a point D almost at the midpoint of this fixed line. Draw a horizontal line through this point D. It is the axis of the ellipse. In this example, we are taking the distance of focus from directrix as 50 mm and eccentricity ratio is taken as 2 by 3. Since the focus distance is 50 mm, a point F is marked on the axis by taking 50 mm from the point D. Eccentricity ratio is 2 by 3. By adding the numerator and denominator, that is 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. So the focus distance D to F should be divided into 5 equal parts. For dividing DF into 5 parts, an inclined line is to be drawn from D. It can be drawn at any acute angle but it will look good if it is maintained between 20 to 30 degrees. With the help of compass and taking any convenient distance, five points can be marked on this line. These points are marked with numbers 1 to 5. A line is drawn by connecting the fifth point of the inclined line and the focus point. Now lines are drawn from other points, four parallel to line drawn from 5 to F through third point, through second point, through first point. These are the five points on the line DF. These points are marked with numbers. Our next step is to locate the vertex point V. Since the eccentricity ratio is 2 by 3, vertex point V is to be marked by taking two parts from F. Remaining three parts will be there from D to V. Now. A vertical line is drawn from V. Distance VF is transferred to this vertical line. A line is drawn from D to connect this point and is extended for a convenient distance. Now, several points are marked after V and vertical lines are drawn through these points until it meets the inclined line at the top and the lines are extended to the bottom of the axis also. To find the other vertex, a 45 degree line is drawn from focus F. This line is extended to meet the inclined line at the top and the meeting point is projected to the axis vertically. This point is V2, vertex number 2. Points 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, etc. are marked on this inclined line corresponding to the points 1, 2, 3 of the axis. Measure the distance 1 1 dash in the compass, F as center, cut points on both the sides of the same line. Measure the distance of 2 2 dash, cut arcs on the same line on both the sides. Measure 3 3 dash, F as center, mark points on line passing through 3. Measure 4 4 dash, cut it on the same line on both the sides. Measure 5 5 dash. Mark points on the same line on both the sides. Measure 6, 6 dash on the same line both the sides. Measure 7, 7 dash. Cut arcs on the same line on both the sides. Measure 8, 8 dash. Arcs on the same line both the sides. 9, 9 dash. Points on the same line on both the sides. 10, 10 dash. Points on both the sides. If these points are insufficient to trace the path of the ellipse, we can further increase the points also. Measure 11, 11 dash. Cut arcs on the same line on both the sides of the axis. Now join all these points with a smooth curve to obtain ellipse.
to draw tangent and normal mark any point p through which tangent and normal is to be drawn join p with focus point f draw a line from f perpendicular to line pf to meet it on the directrix let this meeting point be t join point t with point p and extend it and mark the end point as g this line tg is the tangent now draw a line perpendicular to this tangent through point p name it as n m it is a normal